The Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Modelo Brew for those with a fighting spirit. Marlon Rice, 31. Jose Aldo is 33. Aldo, the taller man by an inch. Both fighters able to make weight. Aldo will have a three-inch reach advantage. All right, now for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buck. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC bantamweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 28 wins, five losses. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 136 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the former WEC featherweight champion and the former two-time UFC featherweight champion and the number three ranked featherweight contender in the world, Jose Aldo Jr. And now introducing his opponent, Fighting out of the red corner, a mixed martial artist holding a professional record. 22 wins, six losses, one draw. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 135 and one half pounds. Fighting out of Tom's River, New Jersey, by way of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, presenting the number one ranked bantamweight contender in the world, Magic Marlon Moraes. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Mark Goddard. Mark Goddard, one of the best in the business, our referee. Brittany Palmer is here, as usual, on a pay-per-view night. Brooklyn Wren on hand as well. Jose Aldo making his Bantamweight debut against the number one contender, Marlon Mice. Tonight's fight clock is brought to you by Modelo, brewed for those with a fighting spirit. And in Marais, he got one of the bigger 135 pounders in the world. Oh, my goodness. Right away, that left switch kick is legendary. He cracks so many people with that. Oh, I mean, so tough in real trouble. I mean, Marais is so powerful, man. Aldo's in trouble right away. He's blocking it now, but now Marais is probably going to go to the body. A head kick, heavy attack from Marlon Marais early on. Beautiful start for him. But if you're fighting Marlon Marais, right, after watching the Cejudo fight, you want big actions. You want him feeling like he's ahead very early to try to hope that he expends too much energy and he can't maintain it over the course of a longer fight. See Marais going southpaw, now back to the orthodox stance. Loves to throw that left high kick out of that southpaw stance. Oh! Aldo just cracked him with that right hand. Down the pipe, right down the middle when Marais attacked him. Marais got his respect, or excuse me, Aldo got his respect. But I felt like he could bring the pace and the pressure to Aldo that defines this Bantamweight division. Marais faints. And like you said earlier, John, Aldo's still so young. It's insane for all the success that he's had. It's incredible. He's been around forever, and he's 33. Yeah, to look at his age. UFC 245 is brought to you by Six Underground, a new film from director Michael Bay and Ryan Reynolds, only on Netflix. Aldo had also talked about possibly going into a career as a professional boxer. He'd been really working on his hands as well. I mean, it's hard for a guy to accept when he was so dominant yep. as a champion to find himself in the position he's at now. Well, it was at the time that he couldn't get that rematch with McGregor. He was very upset talking about walking away. But now you see him, him rejuvenated, right? Down in another weight class. New contract. Talk about finishing it out. Just the difference in Aldo now as it was to a couple years ago. Good defense by Aldo. He's aware of that shot coming from the left side now. Oh, he got stunned there. He's very tense in these exchanges. Ooh. 
but Ice has got a lot of different tricks in his arsenal under two minutes here round one. Yeah, he's so diverse. He really can do anything. And his submissions are spectacular yep. as well. I mean, submitted a Sun Sows. World class. Marais has got every skill you need to be a UFC champion. He's just got to work his way back to that position. Inside leg kick and then the left hand up top from Marlon Marais. Man, I'm telling you though, like, even when you're holding pads, if you're constantly backing up, man, that's the most exhausting thing in the world. You know, guys posturing, staying in your face, making you react. It's like Marlon has to find a way to get Jose off of him. Never off bold character since 1872. Coming up on the one minute mark here in round one. And Jose hasn't even thrown one of his patented leg kicks. Some of the best leg kicks in the game. I mean, you know, that guy can really take your movement away. Absolutely. And I was pressuring, right? But he's not throwing as much. And that was one of his biggest issues after the Volkanovski fight, was that he just wasn't active enough. But now he's throwing and he's landing on the rice. Yeah, he's been very great. He hurt Marais. Oh, he yeah. hurt him. Marais on the retreat now. Oh, but right from Magic Marlin. And he's staying in the pocket. Oh, oh he's stunned. Oh, he hurt him bad there. Oh, oh, nice throw by Marais. Beautiful wow. throw. That was impressive. He needed that. Marais needed that. He took two big right hands from Aldo. A useful late takedown from Marlon Marais after a brief flurry from Jose Aldo. Marais relaxing on top. That's notable. The, re the relaxing on top shows me that he's feeling fatigued. And the way he sat slowly down on his stool, same thing. Look at this. Switch kick. Oh, Boom. that landed. I mean, right away. Marlon's switch kick is about as pretty as it gets. And look at that right hand by Aldo that made him sit down. Boom! Perfect left hook by Marais, but Aldo absorbed it. You got to remember, Aldo's used to absorbing power shots from big 45ers. He's desperate. He's desperate. Now be very, very aware. Stay in range. Stay in range. Stay close. Keep pressuring him. He's going to be desperate. Open up for shots. Uh, don't square up with him. Stay in this. I want you to breathe. Control the distance. Control the distance. Stay in range. You know what to expect from him. That's all you got. That's all he's got. Stay. Tonight's crowd shots are brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile and never miss a knockout with their reliable network and unlimited data. Joe, pretty good stool visual for Jose Aldo. He is very much in this fight. You know, people talk about making the weight and then performing at it. Looks pretty good to me so far. Yeah, and Marais came slowly back to his corner and sat slowly down. Now, you could say he's just relaxing and he's trying to conserve his energy and not get hyped up, or you could say he's physically tired. The way he took Aldo down was very impressive, but the fact that he just laid on top of him, didn't take advantage, didn't no ground and pound at all. I mean, you don't want your career to be defined by those types of questions. And this is when the fight started to turn for him a little, a little bit against Cejudo. So for Marlon Rice, he needs to really step up here. Well, that's going to be, there's that left kick, or excuse me, low kick from Aldo. That's, that's going to be the question because of the way Cejudo dominated him in the second round. Yep. It's going to be the question. And it's in the question, it's the question in his mind as well. It has to be. When you, you get dominated the way Cejudo did him after he controlled, completely controlled that first round, he's going to have questions. Especially now that Aldo's still in front of him after he hurt Aldo bad in the first seconds of the fight. Yeah. Aldo's walking him down now. Now would be the time for Aldo to start landing those outside kicks. Whenever yes. Marais is trying to escape, you cut him off with kicks. Nice jab from Marais. But again, Aldo walking him down. Constant pressure. And every time he hits him, he just jumps right back on him. Like that's nothing. Blocks the kick this time. P3, the official protein snack of UFC, invites you to try its newest meat and cheese snack. Code of with the UFC Performance Institute. P3, the more interesting way to get your protein.
Aldo looks like the naturally bigger man. Nice jab from Jose. Oh, nasty left to the body. Oh! That uppercut hit right on the button. I mean, but Marais actually looks pretty good. He seems still calm. He's not breathing heavy. He's just on his back foot the whole time. He's on his back foot the whole time, and he's not doing anything to shake Aldo off him. He's, he's not doing anything to get Aldo's respect. He's hitting him, and Aldo immediately like just jumps right back on him. Well, he's accepting that he's the yes. guy that has to be the he has to be the matador, right? He's accepting being the matador, and he may need to kind of be the bull a little bit to slow Aldo down. Perhaps with Marais, there's some energy conservation going on. Oh, cracking right to Aldo. A big right hand. Normally that would put people out. That was a slow combination there. Much slower than the first round. You've seen the difference in the energy level of Marais for sure. Now a cut developing oh, to the left of Marais' left eye. Nasty right hand to the body by Aldo. We're looking at the Aldo of old here, folks. He looks good, man. Aldo looks good. Fight behind that jab. And, you know, even looks more reckless than of old. Like, welcoming a brawl. And not kicking at all, though. I mean, there he hasn't go. thrown one leg kick this whole time. Well, he threw one earlier in this round. Oh, look at that. Marlon threw a real slow real kick. Nice jab by Marlon, though. I would like to see way more leg kicks from, from Aldo. Aldo, in his prime, I mean, his leg kicks were the most terrifying in the division, if not the whole sport. Aldo continuously trying to cut Marais off and create striking angles. Marais continues on his bike. This is angry, Aldo. Oh! This is like the Aldo that knocked out Chad Mendes in Brazil. Nice left from Marais. Good deep uppercut. Ooh. Huge uppercut from Aldo. And just staying on him. What pressure by Aldo. Marlon's trying to bite down on the mouth guard. He's, he's trying to take to. it back to him. Yep, he's got to try to take it back to Aldo a little bit. This has got to be a bit demoralizing. The fact that he just... Aldo's absorbing everything. Nice left hand there by Marlon. Good movement by Aldo. I mean, that jab is nice, man. It's fast, long. He's hitting Marlon on the end of that jab every time. Every time Marlon stops to move. Oh, nice jab by Marlon. Both guys had their moments, but a big second round for Jose Aldo. Tonight's corner cam is brought to you by Body Armor, the official sports drink of UFC with potassium-packed electrolytes and natural flavors and sweeteners. Grab one today at 7-Eleven. Let's breathe first. Breathe. Come on, Mars. Breathe. Guys, catch up. Catch up your breath. Listen, all I want, I want you to take it easy in your breathing. You keep backing forward. You keep, keep backing up. You have to find it. You have to find your. You have to find your groove in there. You're moving backwards. Aldo has, yeah, much better. Understand he's controlling the distance. Keep breathing and recuperating. I mean, right here you see the body shot by Aldo. That big left hand landed perfect. I mean, tells you the condition of Marais to even take that. Left hook, straight right hand. Look at that uppercut. I mean, Aldo's just flowing right now. Right hand over the top of Marais's jab. Then followed it up with a jab, another right hand. I mean, the only thing missing is Jose Aldo just blasting the kick at the end of that combination. Because at his best, that's what would happen after he would throw those strikes. Round three is brought to you by P3, the official protein snack of UFC. Perhaps early on didn't look like we would get here. A lot of mutual respect there. Marais did train at Nova Uniao a handful of times back in the day. Never directly with Jose Aldo. Here we go. It all comes down to these five minutes. You wonder how much this result will affect Jose Aldo's decision-making moving forward in terms of his career. But a lot of encouraging signs already. Beautiful right hand by Aldo right there. Crisp. But, I mean, if Aldo can get a win here, right, for as good as Piotr Yam looked earlier, he's beating the number one contender in this weight class if he wins this fight. And he's beating him convincingly. 
up until now. To this he's point, yes. Completely pressuring, completely controlling the center of the octagon. Anytime Marlon hits him, he hits him back two or three times. Nice Beautiful jab. jab. Yep. Beautiful. Jose Aldo has only lost one non-title fight in the UFC. That was his last one against Alexander Volkanovsky back in May. Center control, no surprise to see that floated number for Jose Aldo. Aldo never follows. He never follows, he never gives Marlon in a, He always keeps his back along the side of the octagon. He just cuts him off, hedges him off every single time. You gotta wonder what is Marlon's strategy. Is, is it to try to knock him out late in the fight? Like, what, what is he thinking right now? How does he win this fight? Or is he accepting that he's losing this decision? Well, I mean, even right now, you know, nobody's really done anything to separate themselves in this round, but it's like the, the, the forward pressure and cage control by Aldo. As Marlon lands two nice right hands. Significant strikes, 45-35 unofficially for Jose Aldo. Aldo continues to be the guy advancing, forcing the issue. More active offensively. And so you watch this fight, right? You watch the conditioning of Jose Aldo. And the people that question 135, it's, it's crazy because he's fighting with as much pace and pressure as he's ever fought with. Unquestionably. And he told us that he felt better than ever in this 135-pound cut. And he's proving it tonight. A lot of people didn't want to take a wait-and-see approach and let the man compete in the weight class before rendering their opinion. Jose Aldo answering a lot of questions tonight. Just misses on the flying knee, or so it appeared. Two minutes now to go. And that's why Marlon's taking the back seat a little bit. Because when he does try to lead, Aldo just moves his head up the center line and then returns two, three strikes at a time. And not only strikes, he lands big, powerful strikes on the return. Oh, oh he stunned him. And again, good swelling on the left eye of Marlon. Well, Aldo looks ready to go five hard fives tonight. A little flinch there. You see some blood start to leak out of that left eye of Marais. Ooh. Good right hand by Marlon. Pop that jab. And Marlon's fighting his fight, right? His cardio looks better tonight. He's on his bike. He's moving. He's been moving the whole time. He's still throwing strikes and landing. You know, he's fighting his fight. It just doesn't seem as though... He's doing enough to beat this kid, this Aldo. Oh, nasty. Good left hand there. Good low kick and a good left yeah. hand by Marlon. Yeah, man, he's picking it up now, right? Yep. So it's going to be on Aldo to match him. But this seems to me to be a, a little too late. Oh, oh nice combination. Oh, his eyes even like, it's worse now. I don't know what landed there, but the eye of Marais is even worse. 20 seconds to go. Ooh, Marais sharp here in the middle portion of this third round. Spinning attack well out of range. Jose Aldo and Marlon Marais go the distance tonight in Vegas. It's a close fight. But for Jose Aldo, what a moment, given all the naysayers when he made the decision to cut down to Bantamweight. This fight replay brought to you by Nemiroff, bold character since 1872. And here's that beautiful switch kick to start off the fight. I mean, who opens up with a left switch kick to the head? <laughs> Very rare, but that's a beautiful right hand there by Aldo. Marais with a takedown.
early in the round, excuse me, late in the round. This is nasty body work by Jose Aldo. Look at that uppercut. Perfectly placed. Right hand by Aldo. Tremendous pressure by Aldo throughout this fight. Double, triple jab by Marlon Marais. This is a right hand by Aldo. There's another nasty left jab by Marlon. Your numbers in terms of these significant strikes, that second round, the outlier, advantage Aldo there. Otherwise, rounds one and round three, pretty close. One takedown landed for Marlon Marais early in the fight after he got touched on the feet by Jose Aldo. But for Jose Aldo, certainly not a legacy that needs building, but this is a legacy building performance here tonight. He's having a conversation with UFC President Dana White. Still waiting on the judges' scorecards. But I certainly had some moments there in round three. Was it enough to take two of the three rounds and spoil the Bantamweight debut of Jose Aldo? Aldo certainly believes he has done enough. An embrace there with Andre Pederneris. The official decision brought to you by Metro by T-Mobile. Catch all the action with Metro by T-Mobile and never miss a knockout with their reliable network and unlimited data. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. Mark Smith scores the contest 29-28, Marais. Mike Bell has it 29-28, Aldo. And Eric Cohen scores the contest 29-28 for the winner by split decision, Magic Marlon I'm here with the winner, Marlon Moraes. Marlon, bo both you gentlemen. Both you gentlemen, first of all, thank you for a great fight. Marlon, uh, it was a very, very close decision. Were you surprised when the judges gave it to you? Uh, I'm giving you, give this guy a word, quick, quick. Cara, não, eu acho que eu só tenho que agradecer, eu acho o Marlinho pela, pela oportunidade de estar lutando com ele, independentemente de vitória ou derrota. Eu acho que isso é nosso esporte, faz parte, os juízes acharam que ele ganhou, parabéns para ele. Então, pô, por favor, pode aplaudir ele, é um grande cara, um grande atleta, um grande campeão também. Você quer traduzir? Sim, sim. Aldo disse, eu sou um homem difícil, você sabe, ele está abençoado de lutar comigo, você sabe, ele está dizendo obrigado a todo mundo. E ele disse, os juízes pensaram, você sabe, ele concordou. Mas, primeiro de tudo, guys. I want to thank everyone here. This is not an easy sport, you know? And I think I, I, I score more, and it is what it is. If Dana and Shelby, they think they want to run this again, I'm down for a big fight, you know? Uh, I just have opportunity to fight for the belt. If they think I'll deserve a rematch, I'll give him a rematch right away, we fight again. Was there anything surprising about his strategy? He was very aggressive, he stayed on you, he kept pressuring you. Was there anything surprising about that? Uh, I expect him to pressure me, but for the first two, I didn't expect him to have this energy. He had energy, and it was a good fight, you know. I'm blessed to be here. Thank you, everyone in Las Vegas. And Meaning you, I'm sorry, you thought that because of the weight cut, getting down to 135 pounds, he wouldn't have the energy? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought, I thought he was going to feel more, but he looked great. He felt powerful, you know. And thank you, everyone, you know. Uh, thank I'm you, Marlon. to fight for the UFC. Thank you for a great fight. Congratulations. Marlon Marais, ladies and gentlemen.